All right, second graders, it's time for chapter eight, part three of Mrs. Pickle Wiggle's Magic and the Waddle-Eye Doers. So in the previous um, section of this chapter, we found out that Mrs. Pickle Wiggle had lots of hidden money, not money, like coins and gold in her house from her husband. And then she had money to live. And now she figures she's kind of running out of that. So she invited all the kids to her house and we'll see what happens next. Mrs. Piggle Wiggle's sweet brown eyes filled with tears, but she blinked them away and went on. You see, if it hadn't rained today, we wouldn't have been able to, we would have, we wouldn't, if it hadn't rained today, we wouldn't have been able to have a picnic anyway, because I used the last of the flour yesterday to make those cookies, and now there's nothing at all to eat in the house. All my money has been gone for days and days and days, and I've looked and looked until my eyes hurt for another s secret drawer or cupboard, but I can't find one. I stayed up all night long looking and hoping I'd find one before the morning so that I could buy some supplies for our hike, but I had no luck. Of course, the money may be gone, but I just can't believe that. I have never been extravagant, and Mr. Piggle Wiggle knew that. I was very healthy and would live a long time. Now, no, I think of, I've lost my feelings for the secret cupboards and drawers, and that is why I have to ask you children to come over and help me, because I know that there are no better lookers and finders in this world than children, and you all know this house and how peculiar, peculiarly it is built, and I'm sure that if anything was hidden in it, you would find it. Now you must all promise me on your word of honor that you will not mention this to a soul, not even your mothers and fathers, because if word got around that I had money hidden in my house, the burglars would be as thick as thieves. I'm certainly hoping that you will find something before lunch, but if you don't, we'll just have to have another cup of tea and keep looking. Fortunately, I have plenty of tea and water. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going up to my room to lie down for a little bit. I am very tired. Lester got up and helped Mrs. Piggle Wiggle to her feet. Then Mrs. Piggle Wiggle, Lester, Wag, and Lightfoot went upstairs to her room and shut the door. For a minute or two, the children just sat there and looked at each other. Then Jody said, Boy, I'll bet I can find that old money. I bet it's in the cellar. He jumped to his feet. And he and Jan raced for the cellar door. Chucky Keystop, Winfred Grassbrother, and Kitty's little brother Bobby followed. Mary Lou Robertson said, I think we girls should wash the teacups and tidy the kitchen. Come on, everybody, bring your cups to the kitchen. Hubert Prentice said, I think we should organize this search. Give everybody a certain territory and have reports. Oh, that's dull, said Joan Russell. We don't want report cards. I didn't say report cards, bonehead, said Hubert. I said reports like soldiers do. I think we should all stack up the cups and immediately start hunting for secret panels, said Molly O'Toole. She put her cup and saucer in the sink and skipped to the pantry. The pantry is my territory, she said. I choose the dining room, said Hubert. You can't have the whole room, pig, said Kitty Wheeling. You can have part of one of the dining rooms. I'll dibs the buffet. She rushed through the door and put her arms in front of her old, in front of the old-fashioned built-in buffet, which was in the wall between the kitchen and the dining room, and arranged so that you could put your dishes in, in the cupboard on the kitchen side and take them out of the dining room side. A fact that Kitty didn't know, but Hubert did. He climbed into the cupboard through the kitchen side, carefully, and quietly opened the door on the dining room side, reached out and pinched Kitty's leg. Kitty gave a terrible yell, as though a cobra had bitten her, and Hubert laughed and said, Oh, pardon me, I thought I found the cupboard with old bones. Just then, Jody came breathlessly up from the basement. He said, Say, did you know that Mrs. Pigwiggle's basement is flooded? The water is terrible deep. And we're looking for the money in boats. Old Winifred Grassfeather 
was rolling around in the dish pan and it tipped over and he looked just like an old beaver swimming around in the old beaver teeth. Jan called from the basement. Hey, hurry up, Jody, and bring some dry clothes for Winifred. Jody said, where will I find some dry clothes for old Willifred? That came out a little, that came out of the hinges and behind. Oops, let's slip a page. I did. Mary Lou said, there are some old clothes in Mrs. Piggle Wiggle's attic. Here, I'll get them. She ran to the attic and got a suit of red woolen underwear out of the old trunk. Then she called to Wilfred to come upstairs and dry off in the bathroom. Then she went down, down to the basement and told Jan and Jody to row over to the wood room and get some wood so she could build a fire and dry out Wilfred's clothes. The basement was certainly flooded. The water was up to the fourth step and getting higher all the time. Wilfred was dripping on the stairs and Jan and the other boys were rowing briskly around in wash tubs, <clears throat> in wash boilers and dish pans, tapping the walls and hunting for money. Dick Thompson came down and told them to look for a basement drain, but they said they were going to look for the money while the water was high and they could see up in the rafters. By this time, every child was crawling, tapping, peering, poking, and feeling around Mrs. Piggle Wiggle's house. By noon, they had found 17 secret drawers and cupboards, all empty. Patsy found the first one. She went to pull out the drawer in the kitchen and pulled up too hard, and it came all the way out. Lo and behold, behind it was another drawer. Patsy screamed with excitement, and everybody came ran it, running. Wilfred, looking just like a giant firecracker in Mrs. Piggle Wiggle's long red underwear. Okay, we're going to stop there. We're going to continue the next part of the chapter. So what do you think? What's going to happen? Ugh, I don't even know what's going to happen. I'm kind of like suspense here. So what do you think is going to happen? Make a prediction. I'll see you next time.